I honestly think that it is easier to get a job than to find a place to live in Germany. This is because the competition for accommodation is too stiff, mainly due to the reasons that I have already explained. If you have clicked on this video, then you're probably curious or you want to know how to quickly find a place to live, either because you're planning to move to Germany or you are already here and haven't yet found a long-term place to live. So in this week's videos, yes, videos, in a two-part series this week, I'm going to briefly explain why finding a place to live in major cities in Germany can be pretty difficult, particularly for foreigners. And then in part two of this series, I will give the nine tips that helped me to quickly find a place to live once I landed in Germany. For this particular video, it's very important that you watch the whole video because the points build into one another. And if you skip certain parts of the video or don't watch continuously to the end, some of the points won't really make sense. But before we get started, today's video was actually requested quite a few times by some of my subscribers. And as always, if you have any video requests, kindly write them down in the comment section below and I will try and make a video as soon as possible. Lastly, I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for the support thus far. As you can see, we are almost at 300 subscribers and honestly, I am just grateful. Let's keep the momentum going and get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2024. Let's get started. The main reasons why finding a place to live in Germany is usually so difficult, particularly in big cities, can be explained in four different parts. The first being high demand. Cities such as Berlin, Munich, Frankfurt and Hamburg are popular destinations for people who are moving either for work or for studying. And because housing is a basic need, all of these people will need to find a place to live and this in turn ends up creating an excessively high demand for housing. The second contributor to the housing crisis experienced in many of the major cities in Germany is the limited supply. Unfortunately, along with the rapid increase in demand for houses, the supply has actually been very limited. In fact, according to the Federal Statistics Office, as of the end of 2022, only 295,275 new dwellings were constructed to completion. This may seem like a lot, but keep in mind that in 2022, there was a net migration of almost 1.5 million people into Germany. I am aware that this influx of 1.5 million people was mainly due to the war in Ukraine. But if you take a look at the 2021 statistics, net migration was at 321,000, while construction of new dwellings was only at 293,393. So even before the war in Ukraine, there was already a housing supply shortage in Germany. Ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, rent prices have been slowly and steadily going up. Like for example, back in 2022, I used to pay 550 euro for the 16 meter square room that I used to live in. A couple of weeks ago, I found out that the current tenant is paying 670 euro for the same room. The constant increase in rental prices makes it very hard to find an affordable place to live in, particularly in big cities, as the majority of people seeking to find accommodation are left to fight for the few available affordable houses. Finally, the last major reason of why it is difficult to find a place to live in big cities in Germany is simply competition. 
I honestly think that it is easier to get a job than to find a place to live in Germany. This is because the competition for accommodation is too stiff, mainly due to the reasons that I have already explained. The moment a landlord advertises a place for rent online, within minutes, he or she gets hundreds of requests from people asking if they can rent the space. To make things worse, the process of selecting a suitable person is like, I don't know, a personality contest of some sorts, where you have to first of all make a good first impression online through your message. Then if you're lucky, you are called for a house viewing, which by the way includes a short get to know you session, which lasts for about 10 minutes. But keep in mind you are competing for the same space with potentially 5 to 10 other shortlisted candidates. So it is possible that you could go for 10 house viewings and still not get selected for any of them. Lastly, it is important to note that depending on your individual situation, certain factors may make getting a place to live much more difficult. So for example, if you are a foreigner or maybe you're not able to speak German or if you're not earning a certain amount of monthly income and unfortunately in some cases being a minority or coming from a different ethnic background. But it's not all doom and gloom when it comes to searching for accommodation in Germany because in part two, I talk about the nine tips that helped me to quickly find a place to live once I landed in Germany. Check out the first link in the description below. And before you go, kindly leave a like, comment, subscribe and turn on post notification so that you don't miss any future content. See you in part two.